So here's the deal, Valve is most likely working on a consoleized version of the Steam Deck, and in fact, this project appears to be older than the Steam Deck project itself. The history of Valve hardware and the evolution of different projects into full commercial products is confusing and convoluted and not something we're going to be covering here. Valve has been internally working on a prototype called Galileo, which is currently in an engineer verification sample too, which means it's getting close to a point where consumers will be starting to see it. A few weeks ago, Valve had an unannounced piece of hardware tested by Korean manufacturers for wireless stability and if it fit within their own judging criteria. And this piece of hardware has been highly speculated to be a new VR headset. It is not. It is a consoleized version of the Steam Deck. We call it internally the Steam Deck TV. That's not its real code name. It originally started life as a separate box that wirelessly streams enthusiast grade VR software to a headset. The headset is likely the Deckard, but now we're dealing with effectively the Steam Box 2.0. This Steam Box 2.0, again, code name Galileo, is running an internal CPU slash APU code named Sephiroth. An APU is a combination CPU and GPU on one chip. AMD makes a lot of these. Aerith is the name of the Steam Deck's APU, and Sephiroth is now the code name of Galileo's APU. This is more than likely the piece of hardware that had to go through testing within Korean manufacturers that recently got published. There are some red flags here. We'll get to it. Back during the final hours of Half-Life Alex, Jeff Keighley's behind-the-scenes look at the development of Half-Life Alex. There are images of this wireless router looking thing. That is a prototype of the Galileo right there. And in fact, there are legal patents, American patents, to do with proximity sensing lights and power buttons. That lit blue circle on the bottom, that is the power indicator. And the closer your finger or anything that's supposed to be turning it on gets to it, that light becomes brighter. It's a whole patent that Valve published. And in fact, different Galileo-based firmwares that have leaked through Steam VR updates allow for this functionality. Greg Coomer and Gabe Newell have both confirmed that Valve is currently working on their next VR headset. Valve has also invested insane amounts of money into wireless streaming of video content through high gigahertz Wi-Fi technology. The Steam Deck TV is something that Valve is attempting to ship as its own separate product. It was originally supposed to ship as part of a large bundle with the Steam Deck back in the day as a piece of hardware that could wire wirelessly stream directly to the headset. Now they're trying to sell it as two different devices, as the Deckard is not as close to finish as the Steam Deck TV, aka the Galileo. The Steam Deck TV obviously will be running SteamOS, a version of Linux that will allow Proton to run on top of, and will have the same breadth of features and functionality that have been highly praised within the Steam Deck. It will just be significantly more powerful, allowing for the top-of-the-line VR software to run wirelessly if and when Valve does actually ship the Deckard because there's supposed to be synergy between the products. That synergy is going to be a hard pill to swallow for consumers as Valve is likely going to be selling two separate devices that do work in conjunction of one another but do not require one another at a high premium. The Valve Index Kit is $1,000 and the Deckard is far more powerful than the Index ever was. The Steam Deck itself, if you want a decent model, is 400 bucks, and the Steam Deck TV is far more powerful. Powerful. Sure, it doesn't have the built-in screen, but it's pretty much got everything else. A red flag. The Galileo being checked for wireless stability and if it fits within Korean regulations is fine. Where's the input device? Because if Valve were to be shipping an input device, that would need separate testing. If Valve is to be releasing a Steam Deck TV of sorts, the Steam controller would need a refresh, something that puts it up with feature parity with the Steam Deck, meaning two thumbsticks, two trackpads, four back paddles, and a touchscreen of some sort. Exactly how Valve will fit that into an ergonomic controller that doesn't absolutely break the bank, who knows? But this is Valve's next step. Valve not only wants to have control over the software that you purchase the games through, they want to have control over the hardware that they develop the games for. So you have a consoleized version of the Steam Deck that is significantly more powerful, that following its release will allow wireless VR streaming through high frequency Wi-Fi streaming. Oh boy. It needs to be stated that the majority of the information that we have on the Deckard and the Galileo comes from two major sources. 
One, there was an individual that attempted to leak a bunch of information on a codenamed Galileo about a year ago to both me and sadly it's Bradley. Neither of us took it that seriously because when you're in this business, you get a bunch of false information sent your way. However, information came out within different Steam VR updates and the Steam client updates that seem to confirm Galileo's existence and now through patents and trademarks were pretty sure. Sadly, it's Bradley effectively does what I do, but with only a focus on hardware, specifically within compute space, virtual reality, augmented reality, mixed reality, whatever you want to call it. Sadly, it's Bradley and his team on his Discord is phenomenal. And if you want to be able to keep up with a whole bunch of other stuff going on within the virtual reality or augmented reality space, his channel is an easy subscribe. Join his Discord server. A lot of stuff is going on over there. But sadly, it's Bradley data mines Steam VR and the Steam client in the same way that I data mine CSGO, CS2, Dota 2, and Steam VR in order to find software and hardware. I find software, things like Citadel, Neon Prime, HLX, and he data mines hardware, things like the Deckard and the Galileo. We know that we won't be getting a Steam Deck next generation model for years. Valve is very much reliant on its current iteration and all of their hardware people are working on the Steam Deck TV project, which in itself comes with the Deckard. They're one and the same, but they're shipping as separate projects. Exactly how Valve will handle the input problem. Do they just expect everybody to own PS5 or Xbox One controllers? And the fact that they're still kind of going all in within virtual reality? Well, it answers a few questions that we're going to be having to get to the next time we talk about Neon Prime and HLX, which is happening very soon. I just need a piece of information verified by one of my sources, and then we'll be able to talk about it. So get subscribed if you're at all interested in Valve's next video games, like true video games. And thank you so much for spending some time with me. I'm Tyler McVicker, the passionate gamer. Once again, go subscribe to Sadly It's Bradley. The dude is doing magical work and is hopped up on copium all day. So what are you gonna do? I'm Tyler McVeigh, The Passionate Gamer. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you later. Peace and hair grease, and have a great day. Adios.